In this demonstration we're going to look at configuring using VLANs. Now VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network and the purpose behind this is to allow us to have one big switch and what we want to do with that switch is segment off network traffic. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to send a ping. So we're sending a ping from our prod machine to our test machine and what we can see is we're getting a reply back. So the next thing we're going to do here with the LON Prod 1 virtual machine is we're going to move it onto a different VLAN, but we're going to keep it on the same switch. So what we'll do at this point here is just launch up Hyper-V Manager. Within Hyper-V Manager, we're just going to come to LON Prod 1, click on the settings here, and what we can see on the network adapter, we can see it's currently on the external network. So what we're going to do here is just enable VLAN identification. We're going to put the virtual machine onto VLAN ID 2, select the OK button, come back to the console, and run the ping again. This time what we can see is that the ping fails and the reason why it fails is even though it's on the same virtual switch it's now on a different VLAN ID. So what we'll do here is we'll just put the test virtual machine on the same VLAN. So in the Hyper-V manager just down the test virtual machine click on our settings here and what we'll do at this point here is come for the network adapter we'll enable the VLAN ID identification click OK, then what we'll do, we'll open up the console and we'll just log in. Alright, so now we've logged in, we've just come into PowerShell and all we'll do here is we'll just issue a ping against the prod machine, we get a reply, we'll just open the console back to the prod machine and what we'll do, we'll just ping 16 and we get a reply. And that's at the end of this demonstration of configuring and using VLANs. Thank you.